Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, it's all about praise. Come on, lift up your hands. Open them out. Come on, hallelujah. It's time to go Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to give the God the best praise of your heart. the Lord right here from Christ the Teacher Global Ministry, which is we call it Dr. Jones, we call it Minister Jones, we call it Pastor Jones. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And all of these names belong to him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask you to put your hands together at the same time. Welcome. The servant of God, no other minister Jones. Hallelujah. Thank you. Welcome. Make a joyful noise. I will enter 
in his bed with thanksgiving and into his glory with praise. Somebody shall be thankful. The devil hates me because I'm preaching. Lord says I am preaching. He tried to kill me, but he can touch my soul.
hear they are one of his. Oh God. Back in Jamaica, Bishop. If you take a taxi, and when a taxi man, we got a taxi man. We don't put somebody in a car, you don't worry about them. We don't put somebody in your car, you don't worry about them because they're already in there. Car and passenger that we already have. So I will not want 10 more, you say one already. Two one drive. Now I'm caught. Talk to the turf here. So every day will have you. Him not worry about you. Because there is somebody over there. So when me if get come on somebody. I call church. He wants me in. Because there I can't fight him. The devil hates me. Come on, no man. I don't need the word church. Because 
clap your hands in the atmosphere.
the longest while me have to preach and me feel nervous when me see all the two young men in go on. I never come last night, but I will me in a class, me I watch. And when the man don't preach, me start shake. Me say, God, I want to put me in. Me say, I will go on. Not by might. Not by power. Guys. I salute them. Me say me shake last night. When the news are you there? What God is going? So make sure you're not praying for me. Yeah, pray. I'm the last batsman. I when the last batsman come out, he just wipe.
And you know, see them follow principle more than we. Lord God, I, I don't get that some trouble tonight. And, and when the devil say you're out, you're out. God have mercy upon we, don't it? But the means that we must keep come out of line. But the devil say we stay in a line. Will you like it or not? I'm going to preach it. Somebody shout the hallelujah. Somebody shout the hallelujah. What caught me first was first Samuel 4. And for me, when they give me a word to preach, no one know where to come from. Because some people don't see a word, preach a word. But you know, see the foundation of where the word come from. Talk to me now. We have to find the origin of the word. Pastor, when I read the Bible and I saw where the, the, the Philistines encouraged themselves, they said, I want to pass a fantasy. They said, I wonder if. Pastor Spencer really see a horse in the world yeah. That must have been said by Philistine. That must have been said by him. So some people that get the word and just go preach a quick light man. I appreciate your very own. And you don't keep God, you don't even know that you are the church. You are preaching your brother. Somebody shout the hallelujah. So let me back up a little bit. I'm going to take my point my shirt and take my fist The Bible said that Eli was high priest and judge over Israel. Come now, man. He was a man is devoted, devoted, sorry, to his work. But you know, it's when you're devoted, you have to have some bad purse. This my way to hide away my bad purse. Yeah, the hide away from far. So in the Bible said that Eli's sons was rude, keep trouble, terrible, go against everything. That God says, Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody worship God. Now nah, take no talk. Now nah, listen. You have church people. When Bishop talk, nobody listen. Bishop can't go and talk. Bishop never young. You don't have to talk to church tonight. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And the Bible said that the Israel went to war. But the thing about it, they went to war without the ark of the covenant. Somebody shout hallelujah. How can you war if God is not in the midst? How can you lock on the Roll your peace. Roll your 
don't cut neck. Come on, look, somebody. Somebody shout the hallelujah. Somebody shout the hallelujah. When Pastor Spencer talked and he prayed and he referred to the altar at 58 Mary Street. When he called that he prayed from the altar at 58 Mary Street. Come to mind. He can talk because he's connected Amen. to the altar. He has authority over the altar. Come to mind. And when he pray, and you're talking, all right? And when he pray, and he said, God, I pray from the altar of God, from 58 Mary Street, something start to stir up in the atmosphere. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I said something starts to up because the enemy now recognize that there is an altar that fight that is evil for me. But if you come, if you come, don't know nothing about the altar, and I come talk, oh God, may I pray to you from 58, which 58 Mary Street? You don't have no connection. That is not a worship. That no come to be a ritual. Come on, somebody. Come on, man. You start to call upon, upon demons. You start to call upon spirit that is not of God. Can I talk to church? And that's why I said, dear Bishop, I got the vision that people want to mess up. God, if I'm a true living God, you call me. A 
ritual you are doing. I pray for worship. I don't care who you be tonight. If you're not called upon the Jehovah Jireh, the El Shaddai, you're calling on the devil's enemy. I know we find that father against this church. I'm preaching it. I said, no weapon that come against you shall prosper. No weapon that come against you. Every altar, we put them down to the house of our church. I said, we put them down. I said, we tear them down. Hear you know what Elijah said? If you notice, he called me today. I never preach it like this. He said, we're too hard. I mean, said, them have them altar. Ah, uh, Elijah have them altar. Simply. But after they done, he said, tear it back. Because maybe some of them ritual blood touch. I don't think some people get it yet. And if you don't get it tomorrow, you go back and watch it. You will understand it. He said, pull down. Tear it back down. Pastor, I saw it this way. You, Bishop, and you, Pastor Spencer, and Reverend Grant, I saw you stand around the altar. And you have something that represents, you know, peacocks. I take God. Jesus. Something that is called peacocks. Country people are not the mess of If you come from town, just listen. And you wedge it. Because this will happen. Somebody walk in that should not have walked in. Somebody touch it. They may touch it maybe purposefully or accidentally, but whether or not it trouble the altar. So God said we need to rebuild it. You represent the Father. You represent the Son. You represent the God. I see the blood. So you feel like you can't stop what God has all day. The Bible said in Acts 19, there was some vacabah. You hear them name? Vacabah. Come on, man. Know nothing about God. They saw what Paul does. So they Floor. 
I sacrifice that. Come on, somebody. What kind of sacrifice are you making? 